So we have a brand new dino dossier to be checking out today. This right here is the Yeeling, which in case you are not familiar with it, it actually won the Aberration Creature vote. It's going to be coming exclusively to that map for only Ark Survival Ascended. And uh, that map's probably going to drop on that game maybe early to mid next year. Who knows, realistically. But yeah, so this creature, um, this one, to a lot of controversy, I like... I don't think I've ever seen so many people speaking out about a winner of one of these polls. I saw a lot of people saying that it was rigged. I don't think it would have been. Like, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, but yeah, I do have to say I was a big critic of this guy. But after reading what I can do, you know, it doesn't sound that similar to a rock drake, which is what I was kind of worried about. It seemed more of like a pseudo rock drake in my opinion. But I don't know. You'll see in just a minute. But anyway, this is it right here. I will say... It looks wise it looks exactly like a Dononicus with just a bird face in my opinion right like I can't be the only one that thinks that um, I saw a lot of criticism of the fact that its tail wasn't long and flowing like in the uh, the submitted ideas but obviously you know they're not going to take exactly what people are submitting and turn that into the critter for the game so um yeah this is their take on it and I mean regardless it's a new creature so I'm going to be checking it out when it does drop and I'm sure it will be fun I do have to say, colors-wise, um, I'm excited to somehow make this all blue. Uh, mostly glacial blue. That's probably what's going to happen, but um, yeah. Anyway, so let's read over the dossier. Hey, just a quick heads up. I didn't read it directly off the dossier. I read it off the page, and for some reason, that doesn't match what's on the dossier in some bits. So yeah, I don't know what went on there. Basically the same though at the end of the day. This feathered fella is so much bigger than the Yi species I knew in my day. Despite its aberrant size, Yiling is still somehow light enough to cling to walls and it can even glide short distances. It's light on its feet as well, able to dodge attacks on the run. I'm glad it seems to prefer smaller prey than itself because it can eject a spray of barbed feathers at an unhappy target before darting in to rip them back out. Its unique firepower may expose Yi for a short term, but its protective plumage regrows fast. A tamed Yi makes an excellent, if precarious, hunting mount. Some tribes use them as caravan scouts, others to torment enemy forces. I've seen Yi scarf up weird mushrooms, congealed gas balls, and nameless creatures scurrying around down here. Who knows what effect a diet like that would have on its feathery weaponry. Watch what your Yi eats, and you might learn to sharpen its fighting skills. Okay, so that is the Yiling. What are you guys' thoughts about all this? Drop them all down below. I do have to say, the whole climbing up the wall thing and then like short gliding distance instances that just screams Dinonicus to me as well I can't not make the comparison it's just obviously Dinonicus climbing isn't really that good it's very wonky and I think right now it's very broken but um yeah I don't know like and then obviously I guess the, the gliding on a Dinonicus is more of like a suspended jump instead of a proper glide so all in all, I'm going to assume that it's not going to feel anything like riding on a Dinonicus, but at the end of the day, I, I do like these ideas. They sound pretty cool. Uh, the whole feather thing sounds great as well, just being able to like basically become naked by shooting out all your feathers and then slowly having them regrow. So occasionally you might see like a giant naked chicken just running around the, the uh, depths of aberration. Um, I do have to say, where is this thing going to spawn? It still screams like Fertile Forest to me, right? Or am I wrong? Is it actually going to spawn down in the bioluminescent area? And then I guess the other question I have is, will it be able to withstand radiation to allow us to go down and get some rock drake eggs? So lots of questions that I have to, uh, of course, wait to get the answers for. But um, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Where's this thing going to spawn on Aberration? Because like, obviously Aberration is separated out into the, like three different zones. You know, you have the green zone, the blue zone, and the red zone. So where is it going to spawn? I do actually really like the whole feather thing. Depending on what you're eating, you can power up your feathers with different uh, items or maybe just... I guess different places that you're harvesting i don't exactly know maybe it's specifically what you're feeding them so you might have like something like what are they called the acerbic mushrooms they're like trank mushrooms essentially so you might be able to actually trank out some creatures or maybe it wouldn't be as powerful more of like a kind of a thorny dragon effect where it's a little bit of torpor but not that much um either way though i i, I like that idea i'm hoping that they add in some like very specific like unique kind of ideas to that because there's a lot that you could do with that you know the whole like different resources on aberration aberration introduced like so many different resources we had like a bunch of gems a bunch of mushrooms like the gas balls all these different things so um 
yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to wait and see what that actually does. So excited, though. I, I mean, it definitely sounds like an interesting creature. And at the end of the day, a new creature is a new creature. I'm going to tame it. I'm probably going to like it, regardless of how I felt with this whole vote. I still really would have wanted the um, the giant spider, the chimera. And I know a lot of people really liked the jumping spider. I would have been happy with that as well. But I don't know. Reading this, it's still kind of nice. But at the back of my head, I'm still thinking, ah, one of those guys would have been great. Especially for this, like, scary map. But, um... I don't know. I think they did a pretty good job with it. What do you guys think? Leave all your thoughts and opinions down below. Oh, and do not forget to cast your votes for the center creature vote. Uh, that is, of course, up right now. I'll leave a link to my video down below, kind of going over all the entries. And then obviously from there, you can find a link to the vote. And um, yeah, anyway, that's it for today. I'll catch you in the next one.